During the walk-around inspection, you must check that the APU exhaust is clear and verify that the APU fire extinguisher overpressure red disc is in place. For more details on this red disc, refer to the fire chapter. You are in the initial cockpit preparation phase. In this example, external power is connected. Let's start the APU. First, select the APU master push button and switch it on. Observe that the on light illuminates. The ECAM APU page is automatically displayed and the green flap open indication appears when the APU air inlet flap is fully open. It is not necessary to wait for the flap open indication before pressing the start button. However, the APU will not start until the flap is full open. Now select the APU start switch to initiate the start sequence. The on light illuminates blue in the start push button switch to indicate that the automatic start sequence has begun. At approximately 95% end speed, the on light on the start push button switch extinguishes and the avail light illuminates green indicating that the APU parameters are normal and the APU is available to supply electrical power and bleed air. At the same time, the available indication appears in green on the ECAM APU page. And the APU available memo is displayed on the engine warning display. About 10 seconds later, the ECAM APU page is replaced by the ECAM door page. For training purposes, the ECAM APU page has been recalled and the air conditioning panel is also displayed. For the APU to provide bleed air, the APU bleed switch must be turned on. Switch on the APU bleed air and observe the following indications. The blue on light appears in the APU bleed push button switch. The APU bleed valve opens with bleed air pressure available and the green APU bleed memo replaces the APU available memo on the engine warning display. Once the engines are running, the APU is no longer required. To shut down the APU, first switch off the APU bleed. When the bleed valve is closed, the APU bleed memo on the engine warning display disappears and is replaced by the APU available memo. Also, the bleed valve indication on the APU ECAM page goes to the closed position and the bleed pressure indication drops to zero. Now, select the APU master switch to off. The automatic shutdown cycle has been initiated. Note that the blue on light in the master switch has extinguished. However, because the APU bleed was used, the APU will continue to run for a two minute cool down period and the APU available indications will remain during this time. If the APU bleed has not been used, the APU will shut down immediately. If needed, the shutdown cycle can be stopped by pressing the APU master switch back to on, provided the avail memo is still displayed. When the cooldown period is complete, the APU shuts down and avail disappears.
The air inlet flap closes and the flap open indication disappears from the ECAM APU page.